we are here to solve our limit of volumetric forces series. So here, you have a limit like limit. Before that, let's talk some more about volumetric series. The geometric series was, is about the finite and what and the infinite. So here, you can talk about the sum of what of this uh, series. So the sum of the series is always the formula is equal to what? the first term what times what? One minus what? The ratio, which is what? The ratio about n. All divided by what? R. One minus what the R the ratio. N is what is the natural number. Okay. So here, if you have it like this way, this sequence exists. Or always when n is what is equal to a certain number of one of choice. So for this one, always the basic series, the reason how to find it. Series is when you check what the ratio of what, of the uh, of what, of all the what of the all, all of the terms what in the what, in the series. So here, if I have what let's see, we have a one and a two, a three and what a four. For this one, if I want to check the ratio, that is the R. I'm going to get like a two divided by what. A1. So for this one, always we say that R when R the absolute of R is what is less than what one. We say that the series what converges. Okay. So but when R is what the absolute of R is what is greater than what one. We say that the series what diverges. So that is what the idea of what of the geometric series. And the another thing is you can get what here the sum sum to infinity. The sum to infinity is also what x infinity, which is equal to what a over what one minus what r. Okay, this is how it is. Okay, so this this sequence exists whenever the sequence is what this geometric sequence sequence exists whenever I. R converges. Okay, that is this one. Okay. So depending on this one, when I give you like limit of what geometric series, like this, limit as s goes to infinity, then I have something like one about two plus one about four plus one about eight. Yeah. 
very large number dividing by one, dividing one, this one, which is a divisor of one, of one. So it means that this whole thing is what is approaching what? This whole thing is approaching zero. So it means that at the end of the day, you have what? One minus all zero, and your answer is what? One. So your final answer for this geometric uh, series is what? Is equal to what? One. Is equal to one. Okay. So the next one we talk about what? is arithmetic sequence. So here, the next example is what? Is the limit of our arithmetic sequence that is series. So for this one, this is the example. So for this example, it's simple. So here, what is the arithmetic series that we are talking about? The arithmetic series is what? When you have to you find out the common difference of what of in terms and they are the same. Okay. So for this one, you check out the common difference, they are the same. If you if you subtract what one from three, you get what two. This one is same thing here to do. The common term is two. So here we have a general formula for finding such this sequence. So here the formula is sum is what equal to what that is n over one two. Then what the a which is the first term. First term. Let me make it just a. Then b that is the last term. So if you check your first term a is what is equal to what, one, and if you check your last term, your last this one is equal to what, b is equal to what, two n minus what, one. That is your last term. So you just put them all into the equation. So if you do so, you're going to get if you do so, you're going to get n over two. Then your first term which is what one. Then what plus what two n minus what one so there's it so if you do so just multiply through by what, some of this one or you can just what do for this one before you come back so you're going to get n over two then here one minus one here one minus one let me do it straight away so you get what here one minus what something like so you're going to get n over two then what one minus one which is what zero so i'm going to get what so if I do so, I'm going to get this one times this, which is what two and what square over what two. Okay. So for this one, I just put in what the hundred. So if I put in the hundred, I'm going to get two times hundred all square and all divided by two. Okay. Then your answer.